just wanted to record a short video for you uh, to help perhaps with a problem that many people have with their prints, which is the prints coming out of their uh, printer uh, a bit on the dark side, a bit murky. Uh, and there are a number of factors which cause this. Um, the principal one is people having their monitors way too bright in the brightness settings. Now I'll assume that you've already calibrated your system with a, a monitor calibration device, uh, which is a really important thing to do because that will uh, set the colors correctly uh, according to uh, the ICC system. So uh, all the colors will be profiled accurately. Uh, so the different components in your system, the monitor and the printer and the paper profiles, they'll all be talking the same language. Um, and the profile should really set the brightness of your monitor more accurately. Um, but if uh, the, the, the system is not really uh, talking to each other correctly, sometimes these profiling systems, I think, still set the monitor a little bit too bright still. So if your uh, profiling software allows you to enter the monitor brightness manually, uh, and often the calibration software will let you just go into the, uh, the, the profiling uh, uh, wizard as it's running and let you do it manually I would encourage you to do that uh, and you'll see this the, the setting is the CD slash M squared setting uh, and often these uh, uh, softwares will, will set a setting of uh, 100 or, or even 120 and I, th I think that's a, a bit too bright uh, my settings are often around 80 or 90 and I think that's a bit closer to the brightness of paper uh, so you might want to experiment with that, setting different settings if your software will allow you to do that. Um, but you can also adjust the, the brightness of your monitor uh, manually too, just with the, the, the brightness control, which will be on the monitor itself, on the buttons on the, the monitor itself, or perhaps on your keyboard. Um, and if you've got a brightness scale, uh, when you uh, click on the buttons on your keyboard or on your monitor, I tend to have my monitor uh, set to around about 20% of uh, full brightness. Uh, so that's way below what your manufacturer of your monitor will have sent it out at. They, they often have them sent out at 80% of full brightness or even 100% of full brightness. That makes our pictures look wonderful, but paper can't cope uh, with uh, mimicking that kind of level of brightness. So the first thing you need to do is get the brightness of your monitor turned way down. And initially your pictures will look awful <laughs> To your eye because your eye is used to seeing the monitors much brighter than that but the eyes will very quickly adapt to that level of brightness and then your pictures will look perfectly fine and you'll process your pictures to look much brighter uh, and then when you print them they will come out looking a lot better but the main thing i wanted to show you in this little video is something here in lightroom so here i've got a, a picture of uh, uh, some foliage on trees in, in some misty woodland and you'll notice and what I want to draw your attention to is this background color here uh, in Lightroom. So if I just press shift tab, just bring all the panels back, you'll see this background color here in Lightroom. Now this is set to 18% gray, um, which is a very good color to have um, as it's a, a neutral gray and uh, it's a good neutral color for our eyes to balance against for processing our images. Uh, the thing is, it, it, uh, it, it it's nothing like paper. And so we're not really seeing the colours against what paper looks like. Um, so while it's good for processing our images from the point of view of colour accuracy, it's not very good for seeing uh, the colours as they will look against paper, particularly as we often have a white border around our images. Now, in Lightroom, we can right-click that background and you'll see here it says background color and it gives us a whole range of colors that we can set that background color to. Um, from memory, I think that Lightroom comes with medium gray as the default uh, color. Now, a lot of people have black as the background color because that makes our pictures look amazing. Now, I'm just gonna press shift tab on the keyboard and that gets rid of all the panels in Lightroom. And that's just so that you can see the picture full screen here. Uh, and you can see that when you have a black background beside most pictures, it makes them look really nice, makes the picture pop. 
um, and uh, pops out of the uh, screen, makes them look lovely. Um, now that's all very well, but black is a, uh, a, a not a good color to process our pictures against. It gives us a, a false sense of what the, the pictures actually look like in reality, and is obviously diametrically opposed. It's the complete opposite of what paper looks like. So when it comes to print, we've processed our pictures at the opposite end of the spectrum to where paper is as regards processing our color. So I really, I wouldn't recommend that we use black as our background color when processing our pictures. And in actual fact, and this is something I've learned um, from listening to people like Joe Cornish, um, and, and this has changed the way I approach now the processing of my pictures, I will often use, uh, and if I right click again, I'll often look at my pictures with mid gray as the background color uh, when processing my pictures. But particularly when I get to the proofing stage and when I'm approaching printing my pictures, I will switch over to white as my background color. Now I'm seeing the picture against, in effect, white paper. Now this is, this is pure white. So this is white without any uh, warmth in it or any blueness in it. And different papers have uh, different tints to them. All papers have a, a white point so um, it's not there are very few papers that are absolutely perfectly pure white so different papers will be slightly different but this is uh, going to give us a closer approximation of what our paper is going to how it's going to affect what our pictures look like and particularly as regards brightness now, I don't know if you notice and, and certainly to my eye when now when I see this picture against the white paper that white now almost looks a sort of a mucky gray to me. And it's the effect that this picture is having uh, on the background color. And it has made the picture look dingier to me. So although when I processed it with medium gray, the picture looked perfectly fine to me. Now when I put it against white, the picture looks a bit dull and lackluster. And now I feel that when I look at this picture, actually the picture needs more contrast it needs more brightness in the leaves. The leaves have lost their sparkle um, and the, the mist has gone a very dull gray to me. Um, if you go to black, the picture looks much punchier. Um, um, but when I go to white, it's lost a lot of its uh, impact. And so I'd recommend that, especially as you move towards the printing part of uh, preparing your pictures, that you certainly consider flicking over to a white background and maybe through your entire processing uh, process you use white as your background color for processing your images it perhaps doesn't make them look as good but it's a more accurate reflection of what they're going to look like when they're printed and for those of us that are interested uh, ultimately in the print as the um, sort of final realization of our pictures uh, this is more important to us than anything and perhaps ought to be the most important thing to us rather than the pictures looking good on a screen we're more interested in what they look like as a print and so for me certainly um, i've listened very carefully to what people like joe cornish have said and uh, i've moved to this uh, approach of using white as my background uh, much more of the time through my process of uh, preparing my images um, and much less of the time i spend in medium gray uh, and I never use black. The only time I use black is when I'm doing sort of slideshows and things like that, uh, when I'm doing uh, presentations, uh, or when I'm just looking at my script pictures on the screen once I finish processing them, because it does make them look really nice. Um, but uh, much more of the time I spend looking at them in white. So hopefully that's perhaps helped, just a little tip uh, for you when you're preparing your images, and uh, maybe it'll help you overcome uh, these issues or help as another step to overcoming these issues of prints coming out of the printer a bit too dark a bit too dingy maybe it'll help you get a bit more contrast a bit more punch and sparkle into your images uh, and just lift them and make them look more natural on paper uh, and closer to what you've been experiencing on a backlit screen um, remembering that paper is a front lit surface that absorbs light whereas our screens are backlit and emit light uh, it's giving paper a, a, a fairer chance of uh, competing with our screens. So I hope you found that uh, useful. Until next time, goodbye.